Hello, welcome back to the Fit Soul podcast, the YouTube, wherever you're consuming this content. I am so glad that you are here. And I am so excited today because I have a friend of mine, a very special friend of mine. And um, before we dive into all the things that you're going to love, courage, all the things, um, calling and, and queen qualified and just wait, just wait. You're going to feel so warm and fuzzy, like you're like a spiritual warm and spiritual fuzzy after this, but you're going to feel activated too. So before I bring on my, my friend, Antoinetta, I want to share with you just a little bit about her so you can know who she is and the honor that we have to have her on this, this show. So Antoinetta is a speaker and author, and she is the courage curator. She's on a mission to help individuals consistently cultivate courage to reach their God-given potential. Antoinetta believes that God calls for each of us to be strong and courageous towards our journey as our, as we journey towards our highest potential, our God-given potential. Yes, yes, yes. Through her speaking, her books, her courage candy text, her desire is to help individuals all over the world consistently cultivate courage, choose faith over fear, and lead from a place of courage that inspires others to do the same. Now, I love this. Thank you. Antoinetta is also the chief encouragement officer, the CEO <laughs> of Courage Candy, a strategic consulting firm specializing in cultivating courage, collaboration, and catalyzing change agents to reach their highest potential and create lasting positive impacts. She, uh, impact. She resides in Durham, North Carolina with her husband, Thomas, and their dog, Remy. She leads a queen qualified life group at church. She serves as president of the Durham Toastmasters. You go, girl. <laughs> and she is a big mentor with big brother sisters. So, yes. wow, what? Uh, you're so accomplished. And I'm so honored <laughs> to have you here. Thank, thank you. For you. <laughs> no, thank you so much. I am honored to, to be here with you and all of your listeners. So thank you so much for having me. Of course. Antoinette and I connected. I was just in here thinking it was in the destiny collective. Yes, yes. Son, Evans Daniels group. And, um, I don't even remember how or when we connected, actually. <laughs> Sometimes it's like, we've just been connected, you know? <laughs> I know. Well, you're you're awesome, Amy. So I was like, I need to connect with Amy. She just, her energy, um, <laughs> you're always praying for people, supporting people. So I think we connected and I started learning more about you. And yeah, so yeah, it was, it was your energy and like just your love for, for women. Yeah. Yeah, I, I I don't think either one of us remember the exact moment, but we're both leaders in Marshawn's group. And I do remember this summer, I was supposed to have been on a very important call and it was so odd. It, this was so weird. Um, they didn't show up like and kind of stood it up. And it was for me to make an investment in, in a pot potential coaching thing and they yeah. didn't show up. I don't know what happened on their end. And so I was sitting in front of my camera, ready to go and frustrated. Like, are you kidding? And it wasn't actually the first time it was the second time. And it was, it was a, a lofty anyway, it doesn't matter. But, um, I was like, are you kidding me? Like, I just really felt like my time was wasted. I popped over and saw a text from Marshawn's group saying, Hey, we're going live. And I, I popped on and there she was leading Queen Qualified. I'm like, oh my gosh, this is so good. I was so glad. I was like, okay, this is awesome. I love that. Got to hear you teach on Queen Qualified and, um, and just your heart. We connected over our friend, Gabby Buford, who yes. is, you guys pray, 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 pray and pray and pray um, for her. So we connected over there and Gabby and I were on Antoinetta's. Yes, podcast. which was. Such a special episode. Uh, we gotta make sure that's in the show notes because yeah, that's true. Yeah, wow. Like Gabby is just so powerful, and so you have you have to check that out. I know I want you to listen to this, listen to this, and check it out. But even if you don't listen to this, check out Gabby. Right? That's how powerful just an episode it, it is. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And and before we dive in, I just I think I want I, I think I want um. 
my listeners just to hear your heart too. So she became very attached to serving and praying. And and she was, Antoinetta was reaching out to me on the back end and saying, Hey, can I send her a package? Can I do that? I'm like, sure, of course. And so it was so sweet. You sent her this package. It was so special. Antoinetta also had a very special t-shirt made just for her with her identity on the t-shirt with her name. And, and she wears it. She, um, she loves that shirt. It's so pretty on her too. So just your heart is precious and serving and loving and kind and your smart and articulate and all the things and beautiful. Um, so we are talking today about, um, courage and what exactly is courage candy and what does courage (laughs) curator mean? Explain that to us. Yeah. It's funny because I, you know, been a CEO for seven years, but really last year when I was finishing my book, uh, around this time, um, God told me like, you know, you know, CEO means chief executive officer usually. And he told me like, no, you're the chief encouragement officer. And that is what your title is going to be from here on out. And it's like, right, we have names um, and things that maybe we call to or respond to that isn't really our God given name. And so I feel like chief encouragement officer is like straight from God that he's like, your job is to encourage others uplift others, right? Tell others about me. And so um, Courage Curator is similar where if I think of myself that way, it's how can I help others curate courage? Um, And so that really is like a mission right now of like really just throughout my career, whether it was teaching preschool early on or or working uh, in culture or whatever it is, it's always been like how to get people to that highest potential. And God's really hone me in and focus me in this season that it is about courage. And so courage candy is like, how can we provide those bite size encouragement? Um, Because often people are like, I just can't move. I can't do this. But if you take little steps daily, then you, you look up and go, I just did the most courageous thing I ever have. Um, I'm walking in a season of that. I think a lot of us leaders, we often have to be courageous mm-hmm. yes. uh, very often. And so how can we cultivate that? Because it's right. not an innate trait. The great mm-hmm. thing is we can cultivate it. I love that. It's almost like if you think of it as, I, I like to think of it like as a skill set. Yes. Yes. You know, doing whatever it is, it's taking action when I, I don't feel prepared. I don't feel ready. And I this is so good because Antoinette, I don't know about you, but a lot of the women that I coach and my own just break breakthroughs only came because I took scared to death action. Yes. I have never been ready for one step that I took. Never, never. And, and, and there's some, this like fallacy of, well, you don't start because you're not ready, but the reality is it's in the doing in the taking actions, we develop that muscle of courage and we actually gain skill sets to become confident. So it's not that you need confidence to get going. No. No, no, that's going to come once you keep going and doing it. Once you fall a couple of times and you, you know, make a fool of yourself and you don't, you're not ready and it's not good enough. It's never good enough. You just got to (laughs) go. Got to go. And that's why I say, right, courage for most of us is not going to be comfortable. And so we Mm -hmm. have to like bust up that myth that like, oh, even I as the courage creator, oh, you must like, this is easy for you now. No, it is not, right? Uh It is not comfortable to do overly courageous things. And so it's really important to bust that myth, especially a lot of times for women, that like if you have fear inside or if you have worry or anxiety that you can't still walk out in faith. And what does that really mean, right? Faith requires so much courage. It really does. What would you say is, what What would you, if you have a tip or maybe even three, whatever, like kind of whatever yeah. in your heart for the woman who's listening to this, because um, a lot of women that listen to this are ambitious and they, they feel called to something um, and they're go-getters. So yep. 
What would you say to the woman who is feeling a stirring to do something? Maybe there's a dream inside of her heart and it's, she feels restless and unsure of maybe steps to take or what to do and maybe fears taking over or self-doubt or some of the common things, but maybe she just doesn't even know what to do. What would you encourage her to do? Yeah. Like the first thing I would encourage is acknowledging that courage is a choice. Mm. And so, so many times we feel like I don't know what to do next, right? I feel this stirring. There's something's happening, but I can't move or I'm stuck or I need X, Y, Z before. And so I first recommend that people acknowledge that courage is a choice that can be cultivated. And so once, right, that, like you talked about earlier, that shows action, right? So to cultivate something or to grow something or to even, right, if you have a seed, you can't just plant that seed in the ground. We have to water it. And so if you can acknowledge that courage is a choice that has to be cultivated, that helps you to begin to start taking the actions, whether we were talking before me and Amy, right? Whether it's getting a coach like Amy, right? So sometimes you realize once you start thinking about courage, oh, wait, I may not have certain skills or I may need to increase this. But first it takes acknowledging, wait, this is a choice and I can do something about this. Yeah. Oh, that is so good. Courage is a choice that requires cultivation. And I really, I really like that um, on a lot of levels, because once you start to just recognize that, that mindset shift really, um, then it it makes it easier to take the action. Do you have another, uh, maybe another tip or another suggestion for someone's like, okay, I got it. Courage is a choice. I've got to be courageous, but gosh, I still don't know what action to take. Do you have like some guidance for that person? Yeah. So, you know, I'm a big frameworks person. I'm a big (laughs) data person. And so, um, you know, something I created was the seven attributes of courage. So just to take people through like, what is courage? How do I get more courageous? And so I'll kind of quickly go through it. Um, And so I believe courage has to start with care. Mm -hmm. And so often people's like, is being courageous rude or like, so it's really important for me. Courage has to start with care for yourself and for others, right? We're called to love, we're called to care for others. Next is overcoming fears. And so we've kind of touched on this already, but you cannot be courageous without overcoming fears. Next is unapologetically, being unapologetically authentic. And so God has called you, right, Amy, to do certain things. He's called me to do certain things. And everyone listening, he's called you to individual things. So how can we be authentic, not compare, right? right. Not judge. How can we really lean into what does God call for me to do? And then repetition. So we got to keep cultivating courage. We cannot stop um, cultivating courage. And then I believe advocacy. So I believe if you're being courageous, it shouldn't only be for you, right? Others should be benefiting from your courageous choices, whether it's your friends, your family, future generations, Mm. um, et cetera. And then grit. So recognizing that it's going to be gritty. Uh, you talked about Amy falling down and getting back up. And so I try to let people know, like, if you are courageous, you are gritty, right? Like you don't just go up. I didn't get what I wanted and I'm done. Like you're willing to fail. You're willing to keep seeking God. You're willing to keep fasting, keep praying and believe in that. And so it really requires that grit, um, I, I'm in a season right now where I'm like, God, you've promised this. And so I'm going to hold this to my heart, mm-hmm. but I also know I got to do the works, right? So faith plus works, like I got to keep putting in the work. And then um, the last thing is just embracing courage. And so I believe courage can be this really scary thing. And so we have to fully embrace it. Um, I believe the alternative to choosing courage is choosing complacency. Oh, 
Mm. And so I believe we got to really embrace courage. Mm. Yeah. This is so good. So I don't know if you guys caught courage. This, her seven attributes of that, it was an acronym for the yeah. word courage. <laughs> um, so again, that was care for self and others, overcoming fears, unapologetic, authentic, repetitious. I, I want to hang out on that repetitious just a little bit, Antoinetta, because that is so key. That is doing it again. And that is not doing it so great. You know, I started making more progress in my business when I remember finally getting to, I, I think I heard it like on a podcast. It's like, I, you know what it was? I know exactly when it was. Do you remember when reels came out on Instagram? <laughs> Yeah. And you're so good with it. I'm like, Amy, you're amazing. Honestly, on social media, I'm like, I, I'm the word I am complacent on social media. And Amy, you <laughs> are just amazing. I'm like, I look on and see your energy. And I'm like, yes, like Amy, do it for me too. Cause you were awesome. Uh, well, thank you. Um, but when reels first came out, I remember all of my online entrepreneur friends were like, what is this? What is a, a real, like, what are we supposed to do? And then we're like, okay, we got to figure it out. And then it was, you just got to do it. You got to do it messy. You got to do it. Not ready. And I remember hearing, I think it was Jasmine star. Actually. I don't know if you listen to Jasmine star, but um, she talked about just doing, you got to suck. You're going to suck <laughs> at first. I mean, when you start doing something, whatever it is, it's going to suck. And none yes. of us wants to. And a lot of times that perfectionistic mindset or all or nothing broken mindset kicks in. And we're like, I'm not going to do it because I'm not ready. I'm not good enough. And, and then we start, you know, I think it's a subconscious thing. I believe that there's a lot of subconscious, not even aware of comparison. Yeah. Of, oh my gosh. Did you Okay, we're back. We're not even going to edit this because something so funny just happened. <laughs> and I'm not even going to edit this out. Okay. Right. Antoinetta, we were talking about perfectionism and we're both yeah. like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfectionism. And all of a sudden she was gone. I was like, we're done. Gone. 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 I and I was going to say, I call myself again, because what we call ourselves is so important. I now call myself a recovering mm -hmm. perfectionist because mm -hmm. I used to get so much anxiety. I told Amy, if this happened previously, I wouldn't have been able to come back on today because I would have almost just had a panic attack that I mess everything up. But I was just calm of like, all right, mistakes happen things happen. And so as leaders, like we not only have to give others grace, but it's often harder to give ourselves grace that like, whether it's technology or whatever it is, we're going to make mistakes. God did not call us to be perfect, to walk perfectly. And if you look at the best leaders and the people you admire, I hope, right, they are people that say we're going to fall, we're going to yeah. mess up. We have to have grace, right, mm -hmm. for ourselves and yeah. for others. And that takes courage also to go, wow, I didn't want this to happen, but it did. And how can I not say I'm never doing a podcast again, right? Because my laptop, which it's not even my laptop because my laptop wasn't working, right? Like if I just take <laughs> this moment and just let it take over me and that but that's what people do they mm -hmm. make one mistake or get embarrassed or someone tells them they're not good enough and they go i'm done with that yeah yeah and that's the thing is that um choosing courage is a choice and it's going to require that cultivation and you've got to have grit i i love a couple of other points so we were talking about repetition in yeah. in your acronym for courage um i love advocacy, you have to advocate for yourself. You have to advocate for somebody else too. Oftentimes we'll do something for someone else, but I love the, the fact that basically you tie that to legacy. Like we're all leaving a legacy. Yeah. And when we operate with kind of that idea in mind, it forms and fashions the way you operate on the day to day, what's yes. most important to you and staying yes. connected to the things that are most important to you and to your vision. 
and to the vision yeah. that God's got for you on your life. It takes grit. It does. It just takes grit. And and this isn't about entrepreneurship. <laughs> right, no. right. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the restlessness that you may feel inside your heart, inside your soul, inside your spirit is God calling you to something else and something bigger. Because yes. as you evolve, as you grow, as you're moving through your life, you are getting, you're gaining skill sets along the way. And, and um, I, I was sharing with Antoinette this morning, I led in our destiny collective. We're going through daily blessings right now. And, and in our, in Marshawn's book, um, she has a, a, she's a dimension, 10 dimensions of abiding with God. Okay. And the number eight is so good. I highly, Marshawn was on the, my podcast and talked all about it. I was like, oh my gosh, so amazing. So um, take to that calling is the, I think it was the eighth dimension of God. And she talks about your tags for your calling everyone's called walk worthy Ephesians 4 1 we're all Paul says I urge you to walk worthy of your calling and tags are your talents abilities gifts and skills and so as those increase as you lean into what is the call of God on your life so purpose real quickly let me just this was so good yeah no it's I, good it's good I, I'm going to do a it. whole podcast on this because this is confusing. This gets muddy with people. Purpose <laughs> is, you know, I, I, I don't know about you, Antoinette. I get clients like, oh my gosh, I need to know my purpose. And they're like freaking out. I don't know my purpose. It's like, yeah. no, your purpose is going to shift and evolve your entire life. For and sure. seasons of your life, it's going to look different. But your purpose is how has God made you? This is more personality oriented. Your calling is about where is God taking to you, taking yes. you. And it's including your gifts, your abilities, your skills, the, 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 the significant way that he's made you. And your assignment is the specific calling for <laughs> yeah. that season yeah. and that moment. So like <laughs> Gabby Buford and her mom have been my divine assignment. You know, we we're talking about them yes. earlier. I know that you've got some mentors, mentees yep. that you do, and you've got divine yep. assignments. I believe we all do. We just, uh, but if you're not clear on how you're made, how the father has fashioned you, queen qualified, Ooh. if you're not understanding and in, in, in an alignment with where's God taking you saying yes to everybody and you're never ever quite able to find enough time and capacity to get still, but you're still feeling restless. I'm going to say that you may be out of alignment with your assignment. You may be out of alignment yeah. with what God wants you to do because you're doing too many other things. They're good, but they're not God's best. They're good. Woo, but they're not what so you're supposed good. to be doing. I said the truth because that was what I was doing. I was so busy doing. Oh yeah, me good. too. You too. Oh girl, uh -uh. right? I mean, give me a checkbox. I will check it off. And I, I will achieve. Right? I will achieve. But again, like you said, if you don't slow down enough, how are you going to hear the Holy Spirit? How are you going to hear what God has next for you? How are you even going to be obedient if you are just checking off lists that if we're honest, are usually lists that society gave you right. or your family gave you, yeah. but not that God gave you because God doesn't give us this long checklist. Mm -hmm. He gives us manna for today, right? And he'll give oh. us vision, <laughs> yes. vision for that the future. <laughs> like, I'm like, manna for today, vision for the future. But God doesn't give us a bunch of things to check off. He, that's just not how he works. That's a word that will, that is hitting me really hard. I needed to hear that today. Thank you for delivering that truth. I have a feeling so many other women need to hear that. We're ambitious. We want to do the right thing. We have, um, we're ready to rock and roll with it. And yep. God's like, eh, 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 eh. I want you with me. I want you unto me. Yes. And, and, and when you do that and you call out that time unto me, oh my gosh, what we can do together, but what you're doing on your own, you're doing a pretty darn good job because I made you so well, that wonderfully, but you yep. know what? I've got some dynamite power called the Holy spirit. You match that inside of you. Then yes. what can happen? We can go move some mountains and move, anyway. like stuff you never imagined. So I encourage people like mm. dig in, right? Like 
dig in, find a community, right? I yes. met Amy through a community. Yeah. It's so important, right? Something I say is courage is contagious. And yes. so, right, if you're isolated, it's really hard to be courageous. It if is. you're around dynamic people who are courageous, you're like, hold on, okay, I can do this. Like, I'm gonna do I got this. it, right? <laughs> when you hear people say in their praise reports, like, this is what God told me and this right. is what happened, you get fired up. You, you say, do. wait, I serve the same God, hold on. It builds your faith. Absolutely. Well, we both believe that you should be in community. I've yes. got my communities and Antoinette, I know that you have a community where you send out messages, uh, encouragement on the daily. <laughs> y'all, y'all got it. And it's free. I make people pay for mine. Yours is free. Then I have to say, I mean, you know what, just from an entrepreneurial point of view, yeah, I just yeah. throw this out here. That is so much high value and so much work on her end and on her part. I know because I do the same thing, but again, yeah, yeah. it's a lot of work and it costs it's a, a lot, lot of work. Money. Yeah, It is a lot of work. So Antoinette, how can people get on your courage candy list? Is that what it's called? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Courage Candy. So send out daily encouragement messages. So you can text 919-647-7450. And then if you text Courage plus Sunday, I will also send you on Sunday's Faith Fuel. And so whatever we talked about that week, I also share a scripture on Sunday. So you can text Courage or text Courage plus Sunday. And it is, it's tough, but it is my gift to the world. Um, I have my book back here and I, I literally took, right, six months of those messages and then made some introductions. And so uh, if you're like, I just want to read them all at the same time, you can get the book. But yeah, the texts are just my gift to to you all. Amazing. Yeah. Okay. I want I want that phone number one more time. Tell me what it is. Yeah. 919-647-7450. I'm definitely going to get on your text. <laughs> Thank That's you. That's awesome. <laughs> I'm going to, I'm going to text you. And so you guys just get your phone 919-647-7450 and text the word courage. I'm going to do courage plus sunny. Cause I want the one on Sunday. Um, and then also your book courage candy. Can we go over to Amazon and find that? Yeah, you can go to Amazon. Um, you can also go to couragecandy.co. Um, and if you want to go straight to the shop, you can go slash shop all and it's cheaper than Amazon. So the price plus shipping, it's a few dollars less. Um, so you can do that. And if you order from us directly, I can write a message in there for you. So there's a little place where you can get it inscribed. So, oh, yeah. amazing. And so that was couragecandy.co. Yep. Yeah, couragecandy.co. Yep. Okay, so let's go. And that would be a great Christmas gift. That would be okay. a great gift to buy. Um, and then you're supporting a, a sister that has, a, I mean, you guys, I mean, I'm not trying to <laughs> bust my arm, patting ourselves on the back, but, but being out here in leadership on the online space, it is a lot of hard work. It is so much hard work yeah. and um, putting the content out there and the podcast and, 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 and we are both women on a mission. We both feel incredibly called to what we're doing. <laughs> yes. And, and yes. so this is a wonderful way to support another sister who's, who's putting the work in y'all. She's doing the work, she's doing the thing and it's, and it's all for God's glory. So I just yes. love your heart. Um, you. I love what you've got. I love this, the courage curator. I love this courage. So let me go over that acronym one more time. It's courage is care, overcoming fears, unapologetic authenticity, repetition, baby. Keep going. Keep repetition. Going. <laughs> advocate, advocate for yourself, advocate for somebody else. Do it for someone else. Do it for your children. Do it for your, your, your grandchildren that aren't born. Do it for the legacy that you're going to leave. Do it to make your mark in your, um, in your community. Do it for yes. your church. Do it for the glory of God. Like we can't state that enough. Ladies, Oh, oh, I'm just about, I'm going to just say it, girl. I'm just going to. Yeah. Out. Yeah. 
We're too, de- we're too distracted. Get off social Woo! media so much. Like, stop, just stop yourself. I'm speaking to myself as I'm, sh- I'm, I'm saying this. We waste too much darn time. The average American, Antoinette, do you know how much, how much time the average American spends consuming either TV and or yeah, social media? Social media. It, it's scary, right? It's scary. It's scary. Six hours a day. Six hours a day, but we don't have time to learn new skill sets to do the things that we're supposed to do. We don't have time to invest in our health, which is our greatest wealth. We don't have time to get in God's word. No, 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 no. We all have time. We make time for what's important. So that whole advocacy, um, be yep. your own advocate. You got to kick your own butt, and you got to get yourself you in action. You, you do. I know what right? to do it for you. You, you got to fast right from it all, and like God will cover. And so I think entrepreneurs feel like I can't fast from social media. I can't take five hours or a minute off from my phone. You can, right? You can, and God's going to bless you even more because you've been close and hearing. And I just want to say something. I believe it was from Marshawn, and I just, I reread it recently. She said, right, we we want to ask, believe, receive, but we're getting it wrong. We need to believe. That's right. Yeah. Ask, receive. And yeah. so that belief is action. That means right. you are starting something, you are doing something. You it's real easy to ask, right? Like you said, while we're watching TV, whatever, it's real easy to say, God, what's happening? But yes. to believe first, to go, I am going to have a better life. Next yeah. year, next month is going to be better. I'm gonna walk in my calling. So yeah, no, that's amazing. Um, Amy, just that distraction. And you can't be distracted and courageous. No. No, you can't. You can't. I say, you can't. Uh, my, my southern when the just country came comes out. Let me tuck it back Georgia, in. So yeah, when my country comes out, I'm like, I'm real excited. <laughs> yeah, you you really can't. And and for all of us, the, the the problem with the distractions, and we're talking about advocating, and and now we're moving into grit. We're going through her her uh, framework here. The problem is this: is that it takes honestly, it takes grit and determination to break those patterns and those bad habits and those bad cycles because it is meant to be the things that we're doing are oftentimes not just ingrained in us as a bad habit but they're meant to to be um an an addiction so we're literally dealing with addiction not even just a a bad habit and I don't want to like you are fighting up but you got to have grit you got to have determination and this is where Antoinette and I would absolutely both agree that grab a coach and I think she does coaching I do coaching grab a coach that changed my life like somebody holding you higher calling you higher cheering you on understanding what you've got and then also challenging you and calling out your bs like yeah no you should have already had that you know right (laughs) about that i'm sorry what um so not 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 letting you sit in the comfortable pushing you on it and then the last thing is we have to embrace we have to embrace this this was so fun oh my goodness antoinette it it was amazing thank you thank Thank you you. with all my technology right things this this was wonderful i'm so glad we got to do this today Um, yeah, I'm excited to, to share it with all of the people. They need this. They need your content. I, yeah. I'm excited. I'm excited too. Um, and again, okay, and then real quick, social, where, where are you on social so they can go follow you? Yes. Now. Yes. So social, um, I'm doing a lot less on social right now, but at courage curator, and then you can follow a lot more with the brand at courage candy co. So, on all of the things, Instagram, Facebook, um, I'm pretty active on LinkedIn. So yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, Antoinette, thank you so much for uh, being a guest on the podcast. I hope you'll come back soon. I've enjoyed this conversation. I feel like we're just getting fired up. So I know. Same. You, you got to come on mine next year. We yes. got to make it an annual thing. Like, Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. It was so great to have you. All right, friends. So thank you so much for joining us on this podcast. Thank you for just being on this journey. Thank you for um, being so loyal to to this podcast and to this YouTube. I love you. I appreciate you. I'm going to ask, would you share this with somebody? Would you hit, you know, all you have to do is you hold your thumb down on your phone, hold (laughs) your thumb down on the phone. And then this little thing pops up and says, copy. You're like, yep. 
copy. And then I like threesies. So go give it to threesies. Find three people. Text and say, oh my gosh, you've got to listen to this. Text it to them right then. Um, if you really like this, share it to your um, ins- like your Instagram stories. Tag us and we will absolutely reshare you. And we appreciate you guys being here. All right, friends. See y'all next Thank time. You. Bye. Bye.